Why Isn't My Strategic Planning Working will be presented by Robert Bradford, President and CEO of the Center for Simplified Strategic Planning. He is the author of the bestseller, Simplified Strategic Planning, a no-nonsense guide for busy people who want results fast. So I'd like to start by talking about what we don't like about strategic planning, because if you feel your strategic planning is not working, there's probably one of these three things or four things going on for you. Uh, first of all, it's mushy. It, 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 doesn't, it doesn't necessarily connect to anything in your work or uh, in reality. Uh, that's a big problem people mention. Also, people talk about our plan being too big, often too voluminous. It takes up a large binder or too many pages, and you just don't want to look at it because it's so big. Uh, also, we hear people say it's time consuming, that they spend too long on their strategic planning. And a very common answer we get is that we don't get results from our strategic plan. Now, all of these are serious problems. We're going to address each one of these uh, in some depth and talk about ways you can handle it. So what we get from our strategic planning includes, uh, I think, five basic things. There's direction. It shows you where you're going, uh, which is very important because if you don't have that nailed down, you're probably going to end up somewhere else. Secondly, it gives you a sense of focus, and we'll talk about why focus is so important in a bit. Uh, it also creates movement. The things actually happen if, uh, if your strategic planning and execution are done well. It actually does link to reality. And it should also lead to the last two items, which are the main reason why I think most people do strategic planning, is it improves your profit and growth, especially profitability and growthability. So why don't our plans deliver these things? There are four things that we're going to talk about today that relate to this, and those four things are poor process, that is the process doesn't really give you the, the results or the horsepower you're looking for, poor implementation, that you don't do what you say you're going to do in your plans, a lack of differentiation, uh, which means you come up with a plan that looks just like everyone else's, and that's a recipe for disaster, and then finally, a lack of focus in your planning. Uh, which is something that most people say they don't want to do, but when you get right to, down to it, uh, actually focusing can be very difficult for people. So before we get into talking about uh, a few of these things in detail, I want to talk about my basic philosophy about what strategic planning is all about. Uh, and I like to use this picture to sort of visualize it. Uh, in strategic planning, we want to take a look at where you are today and have a very firm sense of, of where you are, what your resources are, what your strengths and weaknesses are, and then we have to take a look at the environmental variables that you're going to have to steer through to get to become the company you want to be in the future. And those variables can include things like technology, your markets, your competition, and so on. So strategic planning is about understanding where you are today, understanding the environment you have to steer through, and then laying out a vision of what you want to look like in the future. And then to create your execution, uh, to do that well, you have to have a set of actions that are uh, integrated, that they're compatible with each other, and that, that push your organization in the direction that you want to go, because that's actually where we get the traction out of our plan. So uh, when we look at the process, which is the first problem that people have, I like to think in terms of what's a bad process look like, what's a good process look like. If your process is bad, it may be too short, but it may be time consuming. So those first two bad process items are, are actually diametrically opposed to each other. Some people spend too little time, and they, they should spend the right amount of time. And some people spend too much time because they're trying to digest everything in their strategic plan. So you want to spend the right amount of time, not too little time, but you want to make sure your process is also designed to be efficient and not waste your time. Uh, the third thing we want to look at is, is what the, where the focus is. Your focus in a lot of bad strategic planning is on buzzwords. A lot of people who do strategic planning read a book or two about strategic planning, and then they, they go out and they spout all these things, and they're not focused on reality, which is really where your strategic planning should be focused. The fourth thing is uh, a lot of people will come up with laundry lists. When you look at, for example, the classic SWOT analysis, where you do strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, a lot of people come up with laundry lists, very long list of strengths and weaknesses, very long list of opportunities and threats, and they get bogged down in it. And the reality is you want to focus on the critical items. So I like to force people to choose what they think the most important things that are going on now uh, in those areas are, rather than come up with a huge laundry list. Also, 
uh, a bad process can be very number driven. I think there's a real utility to numbers in some places, but if it's all number driven, your strategic planning process can start to just look like a budgeting process or a process of developing a, a, an income projection for the uh, coming five years. And a really good strategic planning process should be much more focused on the strategy. Where are we going? How are we going to get there? Is much more important than getting all of the numbers exactly right. And finally, uh, in bad processes, we often see companies do strategic planning with a business leader running this. And the business leader, especially if you're talking about the CEO of an organization, that person should really be thinking about the content of your strategy and not the process of strategic planning. So a good process should have a process leader who's responsible for keeping the ball rolling and keeping it efficient so that the, the key people who have to think about the real strategy are instead of worrying about the process, they're really worried about where the organization is.